Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna give you my opinion on this acceleration car for Amiga 1200 and it's a terrible fire 12 Touring. I bought it uh, probably a couple months ago or so from Amiga store. Quite happy with uh, performance, quite happy with price. Uh, pretty much if you saw my previous videos about Amigas, you know uh, all my upgrades, uh, parts I'm getting from Amiga store and those guys pretty good. They have uh, probably the biggest selection you can find it from any other retailers and the price wise it's pretty good as well. Uh, this card starts I believe in 160 bucks or so. Uh, they come in a two different uh, configuration, two different options. Uh, 64 MX and 128. I got in my possession 128. Uh, quite happy. Also this card has MMU controller built in and uh, it's based on a 6802 RC50 processor and it's a real deal. It's not sucketable. It's uh, started right to the board. Probably on the one hand it's probably nice to have a socket sucketable but then that's the highest revision you can get as far I know. In, in this size, that means there's no reason to upgrade it. I will understand if it did have a lower revision and you wish to upgrade it to higher revision. Uh, RC50C, that's the highest revision you can get. Runs at 50 MHz, quite, quite comfortable. No glitches, no overheating, nothing. And quite like it. Uh, one thing which I wish it will have MMU, I mean, I'm sorry, not MMU, FPU. To benefit some other games like I mean, mostly Amiga games as far as I know they not really benefit from FPU but if you run in some 3D games like a Doom or some other ones uh, FPU will will help a lot as far as I understand anyway um, like I said I'm quite happy with this card all around works pretty good uh, fit and finish fit and finish really really good but there's a one flaw, not really flaw, it's easy to fix. Uh, it's gonna be about connector. This connector, it's slightly uh, wider, slightly wider this way than original or old, old stock connectors when they manufactured back uh, 20 years ago. Like I said, it's probably millimeter thicker or so. And to make it fit properly in Amiga 1200, Pretty much what you do, you loosen up the screw, maybe like a half a turn, maybe a turn. Or like I did on my card, uh, sorry to going back and forth, I just grounded this edge slightly against the uh, sandpaper and kind of make it rounded to make it fit much easier and comfortable. In that case, I don't have to loosen up the screw. Let me show you how it fit that card. Pretty much going from underneath. And like that. It fit the way it should be and screw I didn't even touch it. Uh, I mean like I said the card is pretty good pretty much if you do have Amiga 1200 and you want to upgrade it to up to 50 megahertz that's probably the best way to go. There's a couple other options on uh, today I mean these days you can get on eBay uh, old stock. Uh, for example my favorite card which I never owned yet that's going to be a Blizzard 1220 Mark IV. But those cards, they go from 400 to 600 bucks really easily. It's kind of way out of my reach. I hope one day maybe I can find it uh, quite affordable. Maybe someone uh, can donate it to my channel or so. I, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but you never know. Sometimes dreams do come true. Anyway, in that price range and performance wise, this card probably the best way to go. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's all I got for this video. I hope it was uh, quite helpful, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We'll, we will be really appreciate. Thank you.